Sindh Basic Education Program Modernizing Education in Sindh The Education and Literacy Department Government of Sindh in collaboration with USAID is creating child friendly and modern learning spaces that provides conducive environment for children's overall development The Sindh Basic Education Program aims at constructing more than 100 new school buildings in 7 districts of northern Sindh and in 5 towns of Karachi These districts were selected on the basis of education, social and other indicators like floods affected districts of 2010 floods. My old school has no good structure and no adequate facilities, less furniture and flood also have damaged my school. My new school building is good and has all the facilities. Many of the girls including me have rejoined the schools after the construction of new school. This new school building is good place to learn and motivate many girls to come to the school. Education and Literacy Department Government of Sindh with the support of USAID have made it a priority that constructed school buildings set a new paradigm of international design practice. Newly constructed school buildings are child friendly, disaster resistant, cultural and gender sensitive, ensure access for people with disabilities, durable and energy efficient, secure, low maintenance, ensure ventilation and insulation. The key features of SPEP schools are spacious classrooms, libraries, science and computer labs, health room, separate toilets for male and female, tube well and water filter system, on-site waste water treatment and disposal, playground furniture and equipment, principal and administration offices, multi-purpose hall, staff rooms, gated boundary wall, verandas, windows and courtyards sind basic education program american government ji active support sa le tho jo government of sind and usaid bado kirdar ada tho ma shukur guzar ha united states agency for international development jo jinna hin program launch karan mein asa sabne jo sath reno sind basic education program basically design just to uh, overcome the deficiencies uh, in uh, infrastructure and education sector it has uh, six or seven components construction of the uh, 110 school buildings affected by 2010 floods the sole uh, objective of uh, this uh, whole program was to just increase enrollment of the girls also increase the competencies of uh, teachers i must uh, appreciate and uh, express my gratitude for the people of the USA also thankful to ambassador David Hell Mr Brian Heath Mr uh, Randy Atfield Mr Escape for their valuable contribution for the betterment of the this education system 